So hello everybody, uh, De Lima's episode, I don't even know the number, I don't remember. I am not in Porto today. Uh, I closed the wine bar now for the uh, uh, for New Year's Eve. I might go back tomorrow, but I'm not sure, but I don't think so. Because at the moment I am in one of our vineyards. And uh, this beautiful vineyard this year produced this beautiful Alvarino which as you can see it is not clear because we're trying to leave it untouched unfiltered as much as possible it's still in total leaf completely there's no batonnage though we just leave it peacefully for now and of the summer I'm smelling it we can already kind of feel the uh That fatty feeling on the side of the mouth, extremely tropical, that beautiful bitterness of Alvarino from the phenolics, it's just amazing, high acidity, makes me drool all over my mouth, and um, I'm not quite sure what to do here. I might give it a couple of stirs of batonnage. I might do some batonnage, some light batonnage. I'm not sure yet. I would like to have a little bit more of that bready, bready brioche um, feeling from, from the leaves. Um, I wouldn't like to lose the fruity side though, which I don't think I will. This is this year's grape were so good this is so tropical it's fantastic ah i get a great peach kick a lot of melon as well crazy crazy though you don't lose those acids i like this one a lot this is a batch that i'm doing and that i have a hundred liters of this one and then 50 liters of another one uh, two different kinds of production uh, I will see how it goes I might introduce this as a gift for tastings I'm not allowed to sell this unfortunately at least for 2019 I'm not gonna be able to sell any of these at the bar but I might give it as a gift when I do tastings I'm like hey guys if you want to taste something like small producer countryside minimal but minimal intervention um, let's go for it fermentation 100% natural no added yeast this is beautiful it's a beautiful wine it's a beautiful beautiful wine and um, I want you to know guys that if you ever come to the wine bar in Porto I really want to welcome you and somehow trying to help you and teach you things. Uh, I've been doing uh, experiences online, Airbnb, booking is coming up and um, I, I like when people leave the experience really with the feeling that they, they learn something and um, this is something I would like to make you try someday because this is very different from what you see out there. Uh, when we start when you start to study wine and then you start to spit a lot of things and you start to know a lot of different things those commercial wines become a bit boring and this is the kind of stuff you want to try it's the kind of stuff you want to try so I'm sorry because all the other day limas are much selfless it's more about teaching you about something in Portuguese wine or around Portugal or production methods and this Daily mass. It's a little bit more selfish, but I'm so happy about this wine. I want to make you taste. So if you ever come to the Limas wine bar, ask me for this. I might have a couple of bottles there. I'm not gonna bottle it yet. So at least until March, I don't believe I will have it at the bar. Uh, but yeah, I wish you all a happy new year and have some great wine.